Four Army soldiers who faced murder charges in the state of Georgia were allegedly part of a militia group who were plotting a range of anti-government attacks. National media reports indicate that 19-year-old Isaac Agaghi was the group's leader. Details of the secret militia were revealed during a court hearing today in Ludowici, Georgia, when Army Private First Class Michael Burnett entered into a plea agreement with prosecutors agreeing to cooperate and testify against Agagi and co-defendants Sergeant Anthony Pedden and Private Christopher Salmon. The four men are charged with killing a former serviceman and his girlfriend back in December of last year. Georgia NBC affiliate WSAV reports that the four had been denied bond during their first appearance in a Long County courthouse. Burnett pleaded guilty to manslaughter, illegal gang activity, among other charges, and told prosecutors Agagi ordered the killings to get rid of a loose end because the group thought they had been betrayed by the ex-soldier. The Associated Press reports that prosecutors said the militia was plotting to take over Fort Stewart in Georgia by seizing its ammunition control point and talked of bombing a nearby park while also planning to bomb a dam and poison apple crops in Washington state eventually wanting to overthrow the government and assassinate the president. Agagi was raised in Washington state before he was stationed at Fort Stewart in Georgia. Online media accounts report that he was homeschooled there with his siblings before he was accepted at West Point. It's alleged to use $500,000 in insurance and benefit payments from the death of his pregnant wife a year ago to pay for a stockpile of assault weapons and bomb components and to purchase land in Washington state. Although prosecutors said the death of Agagi's wife was, quote, highly suspicious, he had not been charged with her death. He and his family have been living in Wenatchee, Washington, after his father and grandmother and other family relocated to the mainland from Guam. According to an article on the Southern Poverty Law Center's Hate Watch website, Agagi's father Ed said he didn't know what his son's views are and where they came from. His grandmother Gloria Agagi, who is also from Guam, is quoted as saying, Isaac never got into trouble and was always helping out. I have no idea what happened.